Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. Beast! <laughs> Beast! I'm YouTube famous now. <laughs> True story, I have had so many people message me and say that this fan is their favorite one. I have like no idea why, but this purple polka dot ordeal. Horse of a different color. A little bit of a horse of a different color. Horse of a different color. <laughs> This is gonna be a real shits and giggle video, video today, so just stay tuned, okay? Every rose has its thorn. I have literally been driving around all day long singing in my car. I like my husband called me and I said, what? And he goes, what's wrong? And I said, you interrupted my concert in the car. And he goes, well, I can let you go. I go, oh no, it was just Bug by Madonna. I do that all the time. Anyway, folk, 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 folk. Uh, ladies with an attitude, Fellas that were in the mood, don't just stand there, let's get to it, strike a pose, there's nothing to it, folk. Anyway, okay, so let's get right into this video. This is a little bit of a twofer today. Today, we're going to talk about Jaclyn Hill's dirty, saucy photographs. You have to call them photographs when you, basically they're nudes, but not nudes. <laughs> like, nudes are like artistic, right? Nudie shots. Now, those are when somebody had gone through your phone and they uploaded it to the internet. I don't have any of those out there, so don't be looking for them, but I know y'all want to see full frontals, okay? Don't even lie. Anyway, so she put out some nude, well, they weren't even nude. They were just, I don't know, spicy. <laughs> Which spice girl would she be? Not a spice. Anyway, she'd be nutmeg. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? <laughs> that if Jaclyn Hill were a Spice Girl, she would be nutmeg. Oh my god, if all of them were like a Spice Girl, what would they be? Okay, so anyway, I'm not even, the mind reels, and I will have to stop doing this video because I will go places that I shouldn't go. Because you guys, you think that you know me. You don't know me like that! <laughs> you don't, you don't know. Don't fuck with me, fellas! This ain't my first. Time at the rodeo. This ain't my first rodeo, actually. Anyway, so the second part of the twofer is we're going to talk about why I think that James Charles, and no, I'm not paid, and no, he has never given me a shout out in any of his videos, okay? He can put all these people up in videos and talk, and he steals a... That's all I'm going to say to you, James, okay? But anyway, he, doesn't, he has never given me a shout out, and that's okay. That's fine. I, I, hey, listen, do your gig. But I'm going to talk about why I think that James Charles is probably the smartest beauty guru and self-proclaimed beauty guru of the moment, right? Um, but we're going to talk about that in just a second. First of all, have you all seen these pictures of Jacqueline Hill up on her Instagram? Oh my. Okay, so people are literally coming for her on these pictures because it's like her and John, her husband, who, listen, between you and I, oh. Where's my fan? I need this one. I mean, that man is fine, okay? I mean, and they make a very good looking couple. They do, right? When she's not all punky brewstered out. When she's all like looking like this, like she's been walking the boardwalk, I mean, then they make like a really hot couple together, right? And he is a fine man. So anyway, she does, apparently she was wanted to have these pictures taken from his remembrance of his old times. So I don't know. It doesn't matter. But anyway, it's then like he's given the finger to the world and all this kind of stuff. Which I, I just love that because that's how I drive anyway, basically with one hand on the wheel and like this. So I'm going through these pictures. Um, I mean, but isn't that the truth? Don't y'all have road rage? I have road rage constantly. So I'm going through here. Now, let me tell you what is the best. Okay. It is not, the, what's the best is not the pictures. The best is yet to come. So anyway, the best is the captions, okay? So here she is, Jacqueline Hill. Um, and let's just get a little shot up on that. I know, because you know I don't throw up receipts, but there she is with a good glass of uh, Merlot or something right there. So anyway, and it says underneath here, unplugged, because her phone is, has, is off the hook. Unplugged. Girl, you don't put captions to these pictures, okay? It's corny. You just don't do it. I mean, aren't we already convinced that she's kind of corny enough? So then she puts this picture, and I will say this about these pictures, okay? Now, now I've come for a lot of YouTubers because their audience is much younger, right? Now, I know that Jaclyn Hill has... Oh, my fans are leaving as I'm talking. Anyway, um, I know that Jaclyn Hill has a much younger audience, but she has a, also has an audience that are uh, adult women, right? And gay men that have drama channels that like to talk about her constantly. Um, so I will say this. I mean, some of these pictures border on, like, girl, why are you putting that out into the world? But I have to say I think she looks pretty hot in most of these pictures. I will say. I thought they were pretty, they were well done pictures. I liked them. The majority of them, okay? 
So anyway, here she is. They're standing in front of a diner. It looks like a fake out diner. It looks like some photo set. Do you see this? Here they are. And he's like this. Whenever somebody does that to you, I'm like, baby, listen, okay? You need to get that finger out of my face because you're going to be picking up teeth with broken fingers. Don't think I have not been seen better. What's this? Douche. That's what that is. That's the douche hand signal, okay? So anyway, move on, John Hill. I can't be bothered with all that. So then the next picture, I mean, that just to me makes you, like, if you have to put that out there in the world, like, that just to me makes me think less of you, okay? I ain't scared, John Hill. Let me just tell you. I have fought worse I fought worse demons than you. And they haven't got me yet. So anyway. Okay, the next picture is kind of hot. It shows like all of his little uh, tattoos there and all that kind of stuff. And then underneath there it says, oh, just a black heart. Oh, this is the best one though. I forgot to read the caption underneath this one. Uh, Gigi Gorgeous, by the way, she likes every one of these pictures. Um, it says underneath here, it says he will do anything necessary for her. So don't let the necessary occur. Like what, girl? Paint your mug? So anyway. <laughs> Here's the next one. She is, to I can't, I mean, she got her booty showing. She's got lingerie and it's got him and he's in jeans. It looks like they're in some cheap motel room. I mean, it's okay. Are they wedding pictures? Are they engagement pictures? There she is. And then underneath there it says, our love has always been louder than our demons. Oh my God, wasn't I just talking about our demons? I don't know about your demons, but your demons. Why is he in his clothes? That would be my question. What's he afraid to take off? Okay. And then the next picture is um, just them, and he's got on some sport coat, and she's got on like a faux fur. I hope it's faux fur. I hope it's faux fur. And her hair's got all kinds of extensions and all kinds of stuff in it, and it says, ride or die. Oh, you know who she's kind of trying to give me there a little bit? Let's just get that right up. Is she trying to be a little Lana Del Rey a little bit in the ride video? Girl, you did not come for Lana Del Rey. You are nobody's Lana Del Rey. Now, Jacqueline, I like it just fine, okay? You're a beauty somebody. A, a beauty guru, maybe. I don't know. But you're a beauty booty. But you ain't no Lana Del Rey, okay? Let's just be for real. So anyway, but this is my favorite, okay? Can you all, this is not one of the pictures. I don't know which way, but do you see this? What is that? Can you y'all tell me uh, what that is with that? When people stand with their hand, like, I mean, it totally, what is she doing there? Like a horse out in the middle of some ranch or something. I cannot stand when people do that. So anyway, but I did look at these pictures because it was brought to my attention by many people that, um, that they put these rock star, you know, dirty, cheap motels and diner pictures out. Okay, they were kind of hot. I mean, we've all done a photo shoot. Let's not act like we haven't, okay? With our eyes iPhone, or we all thought we were models at one time on Instagram. I mean, a lot of people still do. Half of you out there still think you're a model. Half your Instagram account still say model. But I will tell you, for me, on the heels of the Country Music Awards, it reminded me very much <clears throat> of a country music song that I love dearly. And like the two of them were on it. Don't ask her on a straight tequila night. She'll start thinking about him. Then she's ready to fight. Looks <laughs> You guys love that song so much. Oh my God, I love that song so much by John Anderson. Okay, so anyway, I was like looking at this picture. So I was like, this is so much a country music. You even got your horse in there, John. You think he rides his horse? I bet he rides his horse. Oh my God. Why is there always so much shit like surrounding her, okay? Now, if you go over, what's really interesting is if you go over to his account, not hers, Hold on. First of all, she doesn't tag them all up in here. She's got all, he's got some of the same pictures, but one of them that she doesn't have on hers is right there. Uh, the Jacqueline Hill smoking a cigarette, which she's excused away and said, oh, we were just trying to perpetuate this kind of image and all this kind of stuff. What I want to know, Jacqueline, is this. It says mood underneath there with a cigarette next to it. Mood. What's your mood? That you want to smoke a cigarette? <laughs> I don't know. Your, your husband's painted for days. You can, let's just get right up on that painted mug right there, okay? But anyway, I mean, he's cute, but it looks like it, I have never seen a face so photoshopped in my entire life. But anyway, I'm like, girl, well, first of all, you could have got one of those blue cigarettes. Everything else you do is sponsored. You could have had an affiliate code for a cigarette. You'd be the first beauty guru in the world to have an affiliate code for a cigarette. My Lord. People will come for anything. It's like these beauty gurus, listen, listen, okay? Jacqueline, Jeffrey, Manny, all of you out there, okay? <laughs> Manny, why you keep on doing this to me? <laughs> I've been listening to country music all day long. Anyway, um, so what's up with this guy? Do you really like him that much? Yes, honey, I love him. He is fine. He does a lot of nice things for me. I know he used to do nice stuff for you, but what has he done for you lately? Jacqueline Hill. 
What is really going on with all these beauty gurus? Okay, let me teach you a lesson, right? Coming from the boxing ring of the drama community, okay? Post your shit, move on. Don't be getting them, don't be getting messy on Twitter. That's for us, okay? We love that stuff. We eat that. Give me more, give me more. I need more popcorn at the movie. We eat that shit up, okay? When y'all get messy on Twitter and messy on Snapchat and you're backstabbing your friends, we love it. We eat it up, right? But it makes y'all look like a bunch of fools. But it keeps you relevant. I will say that. Six months or a year ago, I didn't really believe that this drama would keep somebody relevant. But let's just look at the beauty gurus out there, like the toddies that kind of keep themselves and the, the good girls, the good guys of YouTube, you know, who we're talking about. Um, that one guy over there, that Goss guy, is that his name, Foss? I don't, you know what I'm talking about? The guy, he's got millions of subscribers. Maybe don't nobody ever talk about him. You know what I'm talking about? I watched a couple of his videos. I mean, if makeup's your thing, fine, but drama's mine, not makeup. So anyway, what's his name? I can William Goss, I think is his name. But anyway, um, if, if I'm not, I'm sure y'all correct me. You got me when I got the, the liquid lip liner on. <laughs> but anyway, I do my, love my liquid lip pump, though, that I got from Target for $11.99. I use it literally every day in my car. But I put it on, and then my lips start tingling, and then I go like this. Red, <laughs> red, red, red. I love that movie, The Shining. It was just on TV, the red, red. Anyway. Red run backwards, just check it out. So anyway, um, but why can't you all just do your thing and move on, do your thing and move on? And let me tell you who's kind of caught on to what really works is James Charles. Was that not such a, an amazing segue? I mean, James Charles is turning out to be like one of the smartest beauty gurus. And I say beauty guru, not lightly. I don't say beauty guru because I just picked that word out of the air. No. <laughs> There's shit floating from my fans. This is not Mindy in the bathroom giving BJ's. Nothing's for free. <laughs> you gotta have an affiliate code. And James Charles knows how to use one. Hashtag James Charles. Everywhere, in every video, every five seconds. Hashtag James Charles on his sweatshirt. Hashtag James Charles on his merch. Every merch, every bit of it. Hashtag this, hashtag that. Affiliate code that, affiliate code this. Whew, girl, that's my one thing. Settle down with them damn affiliate codes, okay? We know every video you do is spot. He said in his video yesterday, I don't do that many sponsored videos. I just have a lot of affiliate codes. Girl, okay, in that vlog. Y'all see that vlog? Now, you guys know I love James Charles, right? So I'm just giving him a little shit, but it's the truth, okay? Your fans, James, are saying it's too much. It's overkill, okay? Don't make me come to you like I did like Shannon Rose and talk about how you're over-marketing yourself. It's too much. We know how much money you make. You do just... Fine, okay? You could be driving rain, pink Range Rovers and you get all the makeup in the world that you want for free. Anyway, what else could you want? That loft apartment looks incredible. So anyway, he did this vlog yesterday and in the vlog he said, as a beauty guru, I was like, oh no, 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 no. That would be like, okay, like Meryl Streep saying, as an Oscar winning actress, okay, we know it's true, girl. You just don't say it, right? And that will come with age. It's called humility. I know he didn't mean anything by it, so I'm just poking a little bit of fun. But like, can you really imagine like Meryl Streep saying that? Like if she was at something, she'd be like, well, I mean, as an Oscar winning actress. Jessica Lang and Sissy Spacek would laugh her right out of the Vanity Fair party. So anyway, and I would be eating it up. Because I'm more of a Jessica Lang, Sissy Spacek, Diane Keaton kind of gal, see? A little bit more than um, the Meryl Streep's. I mean, I love the Meryl Streep's, but girl, could you do the same role over and over and over again? That's why you don't win no more at Boresville, okay? So anyway, but when James sat in there, he was like, I was like sitting there watching, I was like this, and then he goes, I mean, as a beauty guru, and I was like... Did he just really say that? No, okay? I mean, like, to imply that you're a guru, like a guru, do you know what the word guru means? It means, like, you know everything, okay? You are the teacher. You are the, oh, you are, I guess he is, kind of. I mean, he knows more than I do. Beat this face, James Charles. Make me famous. I had this conversation with one of my good GDs today, and we were talking about, like, when people come to our channels and they accuse us of wanting to be famous, yes, are you new? Like, why wouldn't somebody want overall acceptance and fame? What's wrong with that? Why would I make videos and say, please don't watch my videos. Please don't subscribe to my channel. What am I supposed to do? Ask you to subscribe to my channel and watch my videos and then go, oh, but I don't want to be famous. What a crock of shit. Yes, make me famous. I'd love it all day long. I'm not going to lie now for one second. Why would I? Anyway, I don't want all that goes along with the fame. I mean, I want to be famous and then kind of like keep my eyes away from the paparazzi. But anyway. I mean, maybe some days, but if I'm out getting a Starbucks and I look real cute and take all the pictures you want, I don't really care. I mean, at this age, you don't really give a fuck, do you, anyway? I mean, if you're good enough for a baseball hat and a t-shirt that you wear every day in the same old videos, and hey, baby, come take all the pictures you want. Just make me famous before I'm dead, okay? So anyway, this is the reason why I think James Charles is the smartest 
beauty guru out there because he just posts the shit and moves on, posts the shit and move on. But, okay, and this is a little thing that he has, that he has on them. Je it's sad to say that Jeffrey and Manny and Jacqueline and Laura are starting to look their age a little bit, but girl, he is on it, on it, on it, right? He no sooner had that iPhone, that new iPhone 10X, whatever it's called, that he had that video out that was trending and I was like, oh damn, like he was fast. Like I had a feeling something with the iPhone was gonna come out and I, but I didn't even think like the makeup look, before, you know, whatever. Like, I mean, he had that video out and trending like right away and baby doesn't stop there. Runs one marathon, turns around, runs the other one, okay? <coughs> so on the heels of him tweeting out, I have a trending video, you ready? He puts out a video painting the Dolan twins. Now, if y'all don't know who the Dolan twins, they are 17 year old twin brothers and they are literally like the, every girl in the world like is like, ah, over these twins, right? Well, isn't that smart? Because now James has painted them and all of these girls are coming to James's video to see the Dolan twins and stay in for James because what girl doesn't want, you know, this young, adorable, young, gay best friend? I mean, like, I was that to every girl my age when I was James Charles' age. So now he's got all these new subscribers. He is smart. He is so thinking this through. And then today, on the heels of Tana Mojo putting out that ratchet ass song, him and his friends, they put out an acapella song that is like the next big pop song. Now, I mean, it wasn't really my gig, you know? I mean, I'm a little bit more to EDM, to Grateful Dead. But, like, I couldn't believe he put it out. I listened to it. I was like, this is pretty incredible. So, James... You're smart, baby. I am crowning you until the next one, until Star Star comes out. The smartest beauty guru out there, James Charles of 2017. What a year he has had. I mean, seriously, right? I think it's very, very cool. So on the heels of that, I'm going to come back tomorrow and talk about a newer YouTuber that I love. But until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye.